A legal battle over buoys. The U.S. Department of Justice is suing the state of Texas over the so-called floating border wall in the Rio Grande. Governor Greg Abbott says the wire-wrapped buoys stop people from crossing the border illegally. KVU's Dominic Newen joining us in studio with a recap of the situation and how officials are responding. Dominic. Good morning. This legal battle between the federal government and Governor Abbott reached new heights after the deadline of 1 p.m. to remove the buoys in the river passed. Now, the DOJ sent a letter to Abbott last week saying his order to install the barriers next to those razor wires near Eagle Pass violated the Rivers and Harbors Act. Abbott instead responded with defiance, saying, quote, Texas will see you in court, Mr. President, as a Monday deadline followed. The lawsuit outlines the state of Texas is being responsible for the cost of removing the buoys. Austin-based immigration attorney Kate Lincoln Goldfinch says the legalities are clear. The state does not have power over the federal government in matters of immigration or the national border. And what you see uh, the governor doing is dangerous and unlawful, and it's actually hurting the process. It's hurting the process of what we're trying to do. I was actually the press secretary for the president, but some lawmakers are criticizing the barriers. Others say addressing immigration reform is the best route forward. The Texas legislature has allocated nearly $10 billion for Abbott's border security efforts so far. The buoys will stay until the courts make a decision.